Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power. One staff member who was vaccinated and masked tested positive. Who was vaccinated and masked tested positive. Who was vaccinated and masked tested positive. The two schools in quarantine are an elementary school in the Gladstone School District and one of the largest high schools in Oregon in the Reynolds School District. What's happening actually at Reynolds High School is that we had a few COVID cases uh, with students. Um, while we didn't have that many, the issue was the amount of students that we had to quarantine were a lot. That's Steve Padilla with the Reynolds School District. He says out of precaution and also because it would be too difficult for teachers to split up teaching in person and online, the decision was made to quarantine all of the roughly 2,600 students attending Reynolds High. Next week, they'll start distance learning. And the reason why we have no school today or tomorrow is to give the teachers um, time uh, to prep for the distance learning. Uh, and so we're giving them a couple days. Um, the students all have their devices. Meantime, 20 miles away in the Gladstone School District, one staff member who was vaccinated and masked tested positive. They had contact with many students, resulting in the quarantine of an entire school. Due to widespread COVID-19 exposure at John Letton Elementary, all of our students in grades one through five have been put on quarantine at home. The quarantine happened not because of COVID cases, but because of the exposure. The staff member became aware of symptoms during the middle of the school day. How many kids are we talking about? I believe it's uh, 620. Gladstone School's spokesperson, Leslie Robinette, says Thursday and Friday will be spent distributing laptops and Wi-Fi hotspots. Teachers will prepare. Then distance learning starts next week. Students at both schools will come back to school in person after 10 days on the 27th. It's an operational shutdown. Uh, we're uh, changing up a few procedures uh, so that way if it does happen in the future, uh, we're better prepared and less students have to quarantine. Both districts are now looking at additional ways to protect students and staff. The Reynolds School District will be asking parents to voluntarily submit their students' vaccination status and plans to better track seating in classrooms and on the bus. In the Gladstone School District, there are plans to upgrade air filtration systems that will provide hospital-grade air quality. Christine Pitawanich, KGW.